Honda's focus for our connected and automated technology is, is to provide a, a more enjoyable, a safer, a more efficient experience, not only for, the, for all the drivers, but for the communities. We have such a good working relationship with Honda. So when they approached us about this concept, we were very receptive. And so by making our citizens safer and by moving traffic more efficiently, we're reaching our objectives. And Marysville have this intersection that have all four corners with stores, with pedestrians walking up and down, and all the stores' buildings are blocking the driver's view. So this is, a, in a way, perfect site to test this technology and how much it can benefit the drivers and other road users. The key part of this technology is that it's able to sense things that you can't see. It's able to do things that our eyes can't do, our ears can't do, so this technology moves us beyond where any onboard sensor is today. It's not about just the cars and the driver, it's about the community. With the system helping the emergency vehicle to move faster, and that goes to the community side of the safety for everyone. Communication technology will allow the driver to become aware of the situation much earlier. Helping the driver to have a better situational awareness of their surroundings and make them a better driver and a more safe driver. Well, there is an emergency station right down the street, just a, a few hundred yards away from the intersection. This technology would enable the infrastructure to broadcast messages for the emergency, the emergency vehicle, vehicle to warn nearby. the approaching connected vehicles and the drivers so that they can yield much earlier to allow the emergency vehicle to pass quickly. Intersections are critical, and the smart intersection at Marysville gives us a chance to really evaluate how to reduce collisions. Uh, and these account for 20% of the fatalities that occur every year uh, in America. Well, the camera is, is using a fairly mature technology for object detection and being able to distinguish type of vehicles and type of road users in very challenging environment. The vehicle is uh, traveling towards the intersection, about to make a right turn. On the right side, a pedestrian is about to cross the street. And before the vehicle and the driver could detect the pedestrian, we issue a warning. Pedestrian crossing. Check your surroundings. So the driver can slow down the vehicle immediately before it hits the pedestrian. We will not just flip a switch and have everything perfectly connected. So the other uh, item we're evaluating very carefully is as we have 5%, 10% of the vehicles that drive on a roadway connected, how do they interact with the other uh, you know, 90% of vehicles that aren't connected? And how can we accommodate for the unconnected vehicles by being connected? Well, one unique element of our approach is you don't have to count on all the other vehicles and road users being connected. The infrastructure is doing the magic, turning the non-connected objects into connectivity so that as long as you have the connectivity in your vehicle, you can benefit from the environment. There are four cameras on the intersection capturing the video image, and these images are fed into the vision processing systems. These uh, classified objects are then turned into a set of a message being constantly broadcasted over the air. Any connected vehicle nearby would be able to receive this message. Another critical aspect of this connected technology is a cross-traffic situation. And in this scenario, a driver is about to run a red light. Vehicle approaching intersection. But with this early warning, the driver is able to apply brake to avoid a disaster. So this, this new technology has myself and our whole team really excited about the future because there's a lot of changes coming to the industry with connected and automated vehicles. We're on the cutting edge and trying to apply it in new and unique ways to improve safety for our customers as well as other road users. We're connected now to this multimodal ecosystem. Smart Columbus, the Smart Mobility Corridor, the smart intersection in Marysville, and right next door, the TRC Proving Grounds. So 
We are going to fully leverage this ecosystem to achieve our vision for a collision-free society.